Hello everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to be crocheting this starfish dishcloth. It is a pattern by Red Heart and it is free on their website. I'm going to be using a creme de la creme cotton yarn in tan and cream and then I'm also using this blue cotton blend yarn which is just a mill ends. I'm also using an H 5.00 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. To begin we are going to make this center and then we're going to make each one of these legs of the starfish. Make a slip knot, wrapping the yarn around my fingers twice, putting the back yarn to the front, and now what is the back yarn? Pull off your finger. Insert your hook, cinch down the slip knot, and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to your very first chain by inserting your hook, grabbing your yarn, and pulling it through and through. Now we're going to chain nine. So this is going to be one of the legs of the starfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Single crochet into the second chain from hook. So one, two. Don't count that loop on your hook already. Single crocheting. Insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Into the next chain, we're going to half double crochet. So yarn over, insert our hook, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. We're now going to double crochet into the next six chains. So yarn over for a double crochet, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops. Now we're going to do that all the way until the end. So we should have a total of six double crochet. I have three, four, five, six. Now we're going to single crochet into this ring that we made in the beginning. So insert your hook into the center of the ring. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. There's your two loops. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Now we're going to chain nine and repeat exactly what we just did. We're going to do that four more times. So a total of five. After you've completed the four legs, I will meet back up with you and we will do the next step. Here I have completed all five legs and I'm just single crocheting as the last thing and then I'm going to fasten off. And pull that tail through. Then we can grab the next color and continue from here. For the rest of this starfish, we're just going to be working around and around for each row. I'm going to begin by fastening my new color into the fourth double crochet of the very last leg that I completed. So there's my single crochet and two, four, double crochet. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and as stated in this pattern, the chain two is going to count as a double crochet. We're then going to double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to do a double crochet five decrease or double crochet five together. 
So we're going to take two of these double crochets on this side, our single crochet right here, and then two stitches over here, so the back side of this chain, and we're going to crochet them all together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the very first stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. Now yarn over again, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have four loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. We're going to do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the single crochet, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We now have five loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into that first chain, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We now have six loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, the fifth stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We now have seven loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. And so we have two, four, five stitches done. So we're going to yarn over and pull through all the remaining loops on our hook. And that is five double crochet together. We're going to be doing that repeatedly in each of these valleys on the legs. From here, we double crochet four in the next four chain backs here. So we have one, two, three, four. We're going to skip the next chain and double crochet three into this very last chain right here. One, two, three. Chain three, one, two, three. And then into that single crochet, we're going to place three more double crochet. One, two, three. Skip that half double crochet and double crochet four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do that five double crochet together again. We're going to take two of these stitches, our single crochet, and then two more of our chain backs over here. So I'm yarning over, inserting my hook into the first stitch, halfway completing that double crochet, doing the same into the next stitch, and again into the single crochet, then two more times, so once into this very first stitch, and again into the next stitch. So there I have all five stitches, two, four, five, halfway completed, yarning over and pulling through all six of my loops on my hook. And now we're going to work back up just like we just did on this side. So we're going to place four double crochet, one, two, three, four, skip that next stitch and into that stitch right there at the end, you're going to place three double crochet all together. There's the three. Now chain three, one, two, three, three more double crochet into that single crochet. One, 
two, three, skip the half double crochet and double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and here we are again at our double crochet five together. So I'm going to go ahead and let you continue in this fashion all the way around. You're going to do each one of these tips just like this. And then in our valleys, you're going to do the five double crochet together. I will see you all in just a minute. I've completed the last point on my dishcloth and I'm right back at the beginning again. So I'm going to slip stitch into the second chain from our chain two at the beginning. Just a simple slip stitch. And now we can start round three. To begin round three, I'm going to chain up two. One, two. That again will count as our first double crochet. We're then going to double crochet three together. So we want the center stitch is going to be that chain five from the previous round, and then one stitch on each side of it. We're going to be working in back loops only for this round, and for back loops only, we're going to crochet down into the center of the stitch and just grab that back loop. You see how the stitch creates kind of a V shape, and this is the front loop, and this is the back loop. So to begin our double crochet three together, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the first stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop, halfway complete that double crochet, yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, and again finish halfway, yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So there we have our three double crochet, halfway completed, yarn over and pull through all four remaining loops. That is a double crochet three together. We're now going to double crochet five in back loops only. So for me, this is one, two, three, four, five. And as you see, those front loops kind of stick forward and make a really nice texturing to the dishcloth. We're going to skip this very last stitch and double crochet three, chain three, double crochet three, into that previous chain three. So three double crochet, chain three, one, two, th three, and three more double crochet into that same space. Skip your next stitch, which this very last double crochet that we did likes to cover it up. So don't forget this stitch right here. That's what you're skipping. And we're going to now do five double crochet back loop only. One, two, three, four, five. And here we are again at our double crochet three together. And remember those are back loops only as well. So there's my first stitch, my second stitch, and my third stitch. Joining them all together. And then we're going to repeat this all the way around. So of course our next step, we're going to 
double crochet back loops only for five stitches, skip the last stitch, then do your double crochet three, chain three, double crochet three. Skip a stitch and back loops only double crochet five, then double crochet three together. All the way around and I will see you all when we get to the end. After round three, this is how my starfish dishcloth is looking. To end round three, I'm just going to slip stitch to my second chain from the beginning. And now I can begin round four. Round four is very simple. We're going to be placing a back loop double crochet into each stitch all the way around, except for these very last stitches right here at the tops of our points. So we're going to skip this stitch, place three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet into this chain three loop, then skip this double crochet, and then double crochet all the way down and up, and skip this double crochet, and then repeat all the way around. This is how it's looking so far. Of course, I double crocheted back loop only all the way up, and then skipped that double crochet right there. You can see the space double crochet three, chain three, double crochet three into the same space. Then right there hiding is where I skipped another double crochet, double crocheted all the way down and then up again and skipped another double crochet and then I'm repeating the corner again. And then when we get to the very end, I will show you what the next step is. To complete round four, I am slip stitching to my chain two and then I have snipped my yarn and I'm just pulling that tail through to complete. Now as you see, the starfish likes to bunch up a lot here. So you just wanna take it and you wanna pull it out. It's cotton and it's very forgiving. So go ahead and give it a good pull. Now we can begin the two edging rounds. For the edging rounds, I'm going with this tan and it's a nice dark sandy color. We're going to first fasten our yarn in any one of these chain three spaces and then single crochet three into the same space. So one, two, three. Then we will single crochet nine and then si single crochet three together. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we will single crochet these three stitches together. To do that, we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop, insert our hook into the next stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops now. Insert our hook into the third stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We have four loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then single crochet nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then single crochet three into that chain three space. One, two, three. And we're back to a repeat again. So again, we will single crochet three into these chain three spaces, then single crochet nine, single crochet three together, single crochet nine, single crochet three into the chain three spaces, all the way around. 
To complete your round of single crochet, just slip stitch to your very first single crochet. Now round two of the edging is going to be a single crochet backwards, which some people refer to this as the crab stitch. We're going to chain up one, and it's very similar to a regular single crochet, except instead of working this way, we're going to work the opposite way. So of course, our next single crochet would be this one right here, but instead we're going to work into this one back here. So I've chained up one, and just taking my hook, and inserting it into that stitch behind, grabbing my yarn and pulling up a loop. There are the two loops for the single crochet. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Then you're going to do it again into the next stitch. Insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, two loops, yarn over and pull through both loops. We're gonna continue in this fashion all the way around our starfish dishcloth, and this creates a beautiful kind of twisted edging. So as you go, you're gonna see it more and more. And make sure your tension isn't too loose or too tight because it can cause it to really bunch up or be too loose and sloppy. So just lots of practice, and this is a really great border for even blankets and stuff like that. When I get to the end, I will show you how it's looking. Here's the crab stitch on my dishcloth all finished. Now you can just snip your yarn and sew in your ends. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial.